enjoy me in 0.5 through my steering wheel. Oh my God. That I own now. This is a car. For all you noobs taking public transport. Well, this is an intro, I guess. It's something. I cannot, I can't, I can't believe that I've actually done this. But I just bought my very first car. <laughs> oh, let's go inside. Woo! Where's the steering wheel? Wrong side. There you go. I'm driving. I'm driving, guys. Hey, wait. Watch where you're going. These people, my God. Um, pff, these people, man. I'm cool now. I was I was always cool. Holy hell, am I glad to be outside. My god, it's so hot in here. God damn. Alright. Okay, lock the car real quick. Lock my car. And I'm walking away. I'm walking away from my brand new car. Let's talk about how you can also be at this level a level of luxury and rich and prestige and um luxury. I already said that. Um, let's talk about how you can afford it too. Maybe you can't. Maybe I, I can't either, so. This economy, huh? <laughs> I don't know what, what is with the economy. I just pay for shit. I just make money. I just don't even make money. I just take my parents' money. Shh, don't tell you. No, this one I paid for. Buy my, I'm unhinged, I'm unhinged. I just bought my first car ever. It's a 1999 Volvo S40 and it's my very first car. That's the car. my first car ever. I've been in Australia since March of 2022 and I bought this car in January of 2023, which I am really proud of doing. But at the same time, it's a second-hand car. It has 150,000 kilometers on it. It's more than 20 years old and I only got it for like 3,500 Australian dollars, which I did save up over the 10 months, but would have also gone for my university fees if not. So that's kind of where the savings went now. So it's not like a huge purchase. It is still a lot of money for any international student out there. But at the same time, it's not like I bought a 70 grand car, you know what I mean? But it is my very own car that I get to drive around whenever I want. And pay for gas. And pay for registration. And pay for insurance. And pay for parking. And pay for inspection. And pay for maintenance and pay to drive my friends around and pay for more gas maybe this wasn't the best financial decision <laughs> but no honestly it's such a game changer to have a car like i think we all know the struggle of going somewhere that's 15 minutes away by car but having to take an hour long public transport commute just to get to the same place because you take a bus then you take a train then you take another bus then you take another metro then you take another bus then you take another train and it's such a lengthy process so it does really help with the convenience and the time saving that you do by get going to and from places but to be fair it is very expensive also like i've had this car for like two or three weeks now but it has been almost or upward of 500 dollars so far for registration to transfer registrations for insurance for inspections and all of this stuff other than that gas also can be a little expensive but i think the best thing about having a car is you have the option of taking public transport or taking a car so if you do miss public transport like it's happened to all of us you do have the option of taking the car and it's crazy how much time you save with a car actually because i could finish my job at 5 and be back home by like 5 30 but if i were to take public transport i'd be home by at least 6 30 or maybe even 7 with a little bit of like getting off the bus run into the train because it's gonna kind of go without me it is very convenient and does save a lot of time but it can be a little expensive anyhow enough about all that let's go check out the car 
Also, I forgot to mention, I think the coolest part of the car, these like tiny dials. Those are the tiny dials. Those are the tiny dials. Changed like the, you know, the um, the mirror, the, like, the side mirrors. So just check that. Uh, up. Uh, look up to the sky and back in position. So cool. <laughs> That's that's probably my favorite part about the car honestly. I hope you enjoyed. Oh wait, the video's not over. Sorry. <laughs>